ESC TV. My name is Michal Pazdernik. I'm uh, the COT Nucleus member, and I'm uh, more than happy that I have uh, with me here today Professor Joseph Kautzner from Prague. Uh, thank you very much, Professor, for your kind acceptance to this interview. It's my pleasure. Uh, professor, uh, white complex tachycardia in a, an emergency unit is always challenging. Uh, what uh, would you recommend to be the first step when you see white complex tachycardia on a monitor? I think the first step should be to look at the patient and determine his or her hemodynamic status because that determines next steps. Second, you should record well fleet ECG unless the patient is in, in a poor condition. And then uh, this is a documentation of clinical tachycardia and also allows you to apply these differential diagnostic criteria. And third, you should always uh, uh, put together all clinical data like age, uh, previous disease or known ECGs, etc. Probability that a patient with previous history of myocardial infarction uh, will have something different from ventricular tachycardia is very, very low. Thank you. Uh, the next question will be what about the ECG diagnostics? What do you look for on uh, an, an ECG record to differentiate <coughs> SVT and VT? Facing uh, white QRS complex tachycardia, it's important to remember that about 80% of them are VTs. Sometimes it's obvious when you see AV dissociation or when you see captured beat or, or fused beats. Sometimes you have to apply some criteria. And there are many of them. I like uh, criteria from Brugada brothers because you look at precordial leads, Please. immediately you see whether there is a, uh, RS complex or not, if there is RS complex, if it's white more than 100 milliseconds or not, if there is AV dissociation or some morphological criteria, you can use uh, just AVR lead uh, like uh, advocated by Verekai et al. The most important is that if you are not sure, every white QRS complex tachycardia should be considered ventricular and yes. not vice versa. Mm -hmm. And what kind of uh, management, initial management, would you recommend uh, uh, younger colleagues uh, uh, to terminate uh, monomorphic, uh, sustained, uh, well-tolerated VT? I mean, of course, if it's untolerated VT, there is no discussion that you have to do electrical cardioversion with appropriate sedation. If tachycardia is tolerated, you have multiple choices. I mean, you can try some drugs. In some countries, uh, procaminite procanamide or imaline is uh, uh, still available. In our country, we would recommend uh, amiodarone, intravenous uh, bolus plus uh, infusion of amiodarone. And um, if uh, tachycardia is well tolerated and the patient is in an uh, expert center, you can go for ablation as a first line treatment. Thank you very much for, for this very nice interview, Professor. Pleasure.